Hey what's up everyone, how are you all doing today? Welcome to another episode of Necromunda Underhive Wars. And looks like today we're taking control of the Black Ash Gang world lots of things. So, let's get into it. My supremacy contest. Spectators or participants. We're not here to play your games, DeVos. Tell us where Tessera went, and we'll just go ahead and bounce out of here. Alas, that I cannot do. These other fine gangers have all paid to enter the contest in order to gain exclusive access to that information. He's taking advantage of this situation. Don't test my it? patience with that rot. Test errors onto something, and I want in. Where it is, that you know something. Oh, no, no, no. I could never tell you where to find Tessera if you mean to rob her. Whoever wins my supremacy contest will be going to help Tessera. Uh-huh. Well, we'll help her, all right. Won't we, boys? Well, then, in that case, welcome to the contest. Supremacy. Gunshell Factorum. Cool beans. That Devos has got a sneaky one on the go, hasn't he? I'm quite surprised he's talking so hard to set her on her gang, considering they locked him up. Right, so what we got here? Top right, this objective mode requires teams to activate and maintain control of various lights. These can be recaptured by the enemy, so a balance between offense and defense will be necessary. Okay, on the left, five rounds remaining, so we've got a time limit on this one. Control the most lights at the end of a battle. So at the end of the five rounds, we've got to have as many lights as possible. Let's have a little look on our overview map here. Which doesn't... Oh, there we go. We were glitched through the scenery there. So, I assume the lights are these big yellow structures. Yes. So what's that? That's an elevator. Got various zip lines. Got another elevator here. Oh, let's go up. So that's another gang. And that's another one up there. So those two gangs have the high ground on us. Which is quite cheeky. So I think we're going to have to do our best to try and get to the high ground as soon as we can. So it looks like we can get one, two of those lights, possibly pretty easy from the, sh from the start. Okay, let's get to it. The contest rules are simple. Rule one, the gang controlling the most lights when time runs out is the winner. Rule two, at least one gang member must survive to the end. Corpses don't claim lights. There are no more rules. Begin! Yeah. Oh, she's on Overwatch. We're going to have to be wary of that. It looks like she's looking right at our spawn. Yeah, she's right up there. I wonder what her range is going to be. Find out soon enough, won't we? Cool. So this is one of the lights, I think. Flint's so team secured a light. Ten action points to turn the light on. Gotta be aware of that. Oh, we've used all our movement points up getting there. Okay. So let's set an ambush up, I guess. Just in case anyone comes near us. So we've got to try and play this smart. We've got five rounds to survive through. I think there's only five lights between the three of us. 
So I guess all we're really going to need is a maximum of three to guarantee victory. I guess we could possibly hold just two and still do it. We'll have to see. But I definitely don't think we want to be rushing around just to capture all five of them. We're going to be spreading ourselves too thin. I've already got two lights at the moment. We're going to go contest that light. Yeah. So let's see what happens. Do they have to battle or do they just turn it on themselves? You can just turn it on. Okay. So we'll leave them to it up at that light. We've got one over here that we could probably capture, so let's see if we can get that one. It stays away from the um the troopers on Overwatch over there as well. Let's see if we've got enough movement points to make it all the way over here. Oh, think we're gonna make it. The cool. Black Ash have secured a second light. Now, what can we do here tactical wise? Let's have a look, see what this is. That's the defensive buff, so that could be interesting. Target activates when an enemy targets this fighter. 100% AP cost of enemy offense range. I don't really understand what that's talking about, to be honest. I think I might put the Iron Will on. That gives us some extra defensive capabilities. Okay, he's got a bit of a gun. So they're going to start having a bit of war over this light by lots of things, which is good. We want to try and be the third party on this, a bit like the last episode. Let these two scrabble amongst themselves and we'll try and pick up the scraps. Okay, where do we play from here then? Let's have a little look. Okay, that's the light that's being contested, so we definitely don't want to go up to that one. But we could cheekily go to this one here. Now, if we can just hold those three, that puts in a really strong position. Oh, we do have to be careful of this chick, though. She's on Overwatch, isn't she? We might just have to suck up a hit. I'm sure as soon as we go into range where we can see her, she'll be shooting us. This gun definitely doesn't have good range on it, it can't hit her from here. Oh, we're just going to have to go for it. There we go. Oh, we evaded it, that's lucky. Cool. Before we do anything, let's turn the light on. And it's ours. Black Ash now control the majority of the lights. Can they hold their advantage? Let's just see what else we got here. Delay. Cryo frog. Frog? <laughs> Cryo fog capsule. I think we'll just shoot her. I have some of that toxic gunk. Uh, and we're pretty much stuck here now. Okay. Oh, the champion? Ah, oh, 
That's the dude from that last episode, isn't it? From the pit fight. Cool, I'm definitely glad we haven't got caught up with him just yet. Send this guy this way to help out on this light platform here. Ooh, okay. Um, let's see, have we got another melee weapon with us? Oh, we're on two melee weapons. I think. Oh, that left one isn't a melee weapon, is it? Okay, well, let's give her a cheeky shot first. Come on, look that way, please. No. There we go, blimey. Okay, we can't shoot because the target's too close, apparently. If we go here... There we go, we can shoot. Brilliant. What else can we do? Reload, that's useless. Can't do anything else. So I guess we'll reload. Yeah, I wouldn't say reload's useless, but it's not gonna help us attack right now. What was this? This is an unsafe zone. How how is that an unsafe zone? But now I'm in a position where I can't actually go anywhere. So I'm gonna have to end my turn there. Yeah, it's just moved my player off a little bit. It's really weird. Gonna go join in the battle with your buddies, or? Got lots of buffs on. And Overwatch. It's okay, we shouldn't be going too close to him. Proper war going on for this light over here. Oh no, going for a different one. the zip line maybe that would be a good shout wouldn't it person already at that light. We've got two up at that one, so I think I'll send this chick over here and support my unit that's up at this light. That's very well up there. Right, what have we got? Ascension. Okay, now we don't want that. Field scan. Let's do a field scan. I hope that's going to leave us enough points for an overwatch still. No, that was a little bit more. That's getting. Okay, well, um, I'll just kneel then. That's annoying. It's kind of been weird enough left with the overwatch. Overwatch as well. 
Yeah, lots of Overwatch going on. That's fine. We've already got three lights. We don't really need to be pushing anymore. Just need to hold our ground. Choose this one here. It definitely doesn't seem to be doing a great deal. I assume it's acid anyway, it kind of looks like it. Uh, so if we do that, that'll leave us with 10 action points. Overwatch is 40. If you have a homemade nade, possibly. I said so it can deal 33 to 45 damage. That's 22 to 24. Okay. So we definitely want to be getting the nade on there. If we can throw it in such a way that we don't get hurt. Hopefully that's going to be okay. Let's have a look. So that did 24. About the same, really. Let's, um, yeah, we've got enough points to do both. Let's reload and then kneel. Where's that zip line going to? This one here. Can maybe sabotage that zip line. Yeah, I think I'm going to sabotage that zip line if I can. No, not that one, that one. Yeah. Cool, I'm happy with that. Been a bit sneaky sabotaging. Gun out, I think. Let's have a look. 39, 39. Let's have a go. Got an entrench. Do one. Anything good on you? So that does 39, your sword is 45. Doesn't look as good. I'll have one of your last pistols, I think. What else can we do then? Nothing, just a bit of kneeling and some reloading. So I think we'll shimmy around here a little bit. Just get on the along. I love that these two two squads are scrapping over that light there. This is only round two. We've still got three more to go, so anything can happen. Both of the other gangs are down one fighter each now. So we've definitely got a little bit of an advantage, but they've got this champion. He's an absolute beefcake. He's probably going to have both of those up. He's 
going for it. So he's just puffing his chest out a lot. Yeah, it's just a lot of chest puffing, I think. Oh, I'm up it. Yeah, so I'll select this guy. I don't think there's much I really want to do with him, though, to be honest. So I'd kind of like to just keep him here, defending this light. There's anyone I can actually attack. So that's my two. That's where the big war's going off. This guy doesn't have anything fancy he can do at all. So I think I'll just sit here and ambush, to be honest. And can we entrench? Yeah, let's do it. Just to top ourselves up. I can't go it would have been nice if he could um, lay some traps or barricades or something. I haven't figured out what all the um, character classes are yet, what we can and can't do. It seems they can all do slightly different things. The interactions. Right, where's this fella going then? He's on a little pipe run at the moment. Oh, I see. Comes my bitches. Oh, tough luck, Flint. So he's gonna turn a lot and run away. No, there we go. I do want to select this one as well, she's not in combat. So we can quickly switch that light back on before we do anything. Another one going on a little pipe adventure. Probably he's going to play Havoc up there with those two. Brilliant. Got ambushed. Let's um, turn the light on first. Okay, what can we do here that could be useful? I might do that. Let's do our entrenching first. Get 20 action points back. I think that's going to help us. Let's do an aim shot, see if we can get a bit more damage. What damage is our gun doing? Can't see actually. Where's it? Oh, it's doing the piercing damage. Okay. So that's 30, 30, 45, 45. Let's go for 45. But it doesn't look like his left arm, it definitely looks like his right arm there. Interesting. Got some good numbers. Is he 
you going up the top as well, maybe. What's that? Minus 15 movement points for the cost of entrench. And Neil is cheaper. So it's going to give us 20 action points. That's going to cost 25. Which isn't worth it. It's just not worth us doing. So we're not going to be moving anywhere. Cool. Cool, that's close. I didn't think I had any kind of melee weapon. Oh, do you reckon it might be easier just to... Oh, I've already spent the points now. I thought I could have just disengaged, possibly. Strike with both hands? Is that a two-handed thing? Oh, no, it's going to punch him, isn't it? It's got like a robot arm. Okay. Got our entrenched chance so we can get another attack in there. Guess that's all we can do now. Yeah. Guys have killed her now, haven't they? Um, this one. I want this the one. back on for him as well, isn't it? Surely. It's ambushing. Ooh. That's kind of good. He's not turned the light on, so technically our other fighter there isn't going to have to move. So we shouldn't suffer the ambush. So we're just going to shoot him. Have we got an entrench? We do. Do we go for the aim shot, possibly? Did that last time, didn't we? Left arm 45%. Let's just check there's not a better one. I think it went for right arm last time, so let's just do it again. Hey, cool. So we could have the Spud Jacker from her. What's he got? He's just got an auto pistol. Yeah, we'll just leave that. We can overwatch. So let's definitely do that. And then get some Neil action on. I think we're doing we're doing pretty okay here so far. I don't want to tempt fate, but I think we're doing alright.
ça. She's dead now. It's not like she got any HP there. Okay, so what damage can I do from here then? Let's have a little look on our map. He's looking this way. So that's where the fight's going on up there. And there's another fight going on up there. Definitely don't want to go up to that one, I don't think. And it looks like that's the uh, zip line I sabotaged, so that's cool. There's no easy way to get up to. Oh, there's that one. So I can zip down and then possibly zip up that one to get into that fight a bit. I don't know. I kind of like to get into the fight. But I also really want to just play it safe and hold these lights. I mean, I've got one person there. Um, what can we do tactically? Yeah, this one's got nades and everything. Prior fogs. Yeah, let's see if we can get stuck in some action with this one. Well, I imagine we're going to use most of our action points up getting there. Fourth light secured for the black eyes. Don't get Ooh, going on that. Um, let's go a little bit further away. In fact, no, it's not really going to help us there, is it? Okay, let's just kneel. Thought we're going to use all our action. Well, not all our action points up. Too many to make an attack. I really want to just leave that guy there. I think. And that one. My turn. Ooh. What can we do. Oh, we can do barricades and everything here. Cool. Right, so let's build a barricade on that one. So now we can get across that bridge. And then that's the zip line we've already sabotaged. So if we sabotage this zip line, I don't want to use zip line interactions. Can I not sabotage with this one? No? Interesting. So let's see if we can just barricade that off a bit, I guess. Can we entrench? We can. I don't think that's going to give us enough to build another one, though, is it? No, that's giving us 20. We can do an overwatch, though, so that's pretty cool. Let's do that. Got enough to kneel down. We do. Or whether. I think I might reload so both our guns look a little low. Oh. How is that an unsafe zone? Any different from where I am there? So she's got an ambush on that right. I've got to be wary of that. I think that's where one of our characters is. Yeah, 
Yes, we're going to select this guy. Overwatch, good girl. Oh, she's coming for us. Yeah, she's having to use a fair few movement and action points, doing all that jumping. And you're still going to have to have a light on. Ah, oh, you bum off. Okay, we're still good though. I think we've still got three. So we cheekily turned that other one on. I don't even really know if it's worth me doing anything here, apart from the ambush. We got um we got a gun on us in our pocket. We do have a gun on us. Maybe I should be equipping this. Just now we can overwatch. Try one, but we can cheaply see. I don't think there is. No, okay, let's just um from here we'll just do an overwatch. So these orange guys are the ones to be worrying about now. So I think most of our other squad's dead. I think I've only got one unit left, I think. On that move towards us on that last round. Two units here. Yes, they're not that bad. There's still three of them. Black Ash are losing ground. It's our light. Go to hell. What should we do? Let's just do one of these. Just do another shot, I think. Trench, yeah. We do have got enough for another shot. Oh. Is this first weapon is jammed? Oh, bugger. So, what we got left action point wise? 15. Oh, can't even put a spud jacker on and get an attack in. So we can get right next to her to get in our way a bit.
they're kind of blocking themselves in a bit up there, which is absolutely fine with me. Cool, hopefully these two will keep fighting amongst themselves. Go on, attack him, not me. Shot him in the shin. Oh, blow. Is it going to go again? I'm pretty sure this one has the nades. Yes, homemade nade. So I should get both of them. Champions heavily wounded. Hmm. Can do another one though. So let's just do another one. Oh, we can entrench. Go on, give us another nade. 30. Yeah. Fantastic. I wonder if we can be really cheeky here. How come I can't do the light? Okay. Let's not worry about that just yet. Did some great damage to that champion. That's really cool. Man down here. That's fine. She hasn't got much health. Yeah, he does. So I'm, I'm absolutely fine with that. Come for me. Kind of wish I'd selected that guy now. Can't see her from here. I can't see anyone from here, to be honest. I don't know if I could build another barricade. <laughs> well, that didn't exactly work, did it? Oh well. Alright, so if we sit this guy here, looking over in that direction, that's gonna do it. More barricades. That's the different types of barricade. Oh, that's cool. That one's got a little shooting platform on it. Oh, I guess like that one does. There you go, observation skills. Overwatch. Oh, it's just outside the range where I want him to be, but we'll do it anyway. This guy's pretty much just chilling up here. We'll just, uh, let's entrench. Then we'll just kneel. So I don't know if I move him away from that light, someone's going to come in and nab it from me. I think we still very much have the advantage on the lights at the moment as well. He's getting in on the action as well. Ah, cool. I'm fine with that. Brilliant. Thanks, sir. station there. Cheeky. Hmm. I don't know if there's much point in doing anything with this guy to be honest. 
have to put him on Overwatch again. Because he can't see anyone. I'm pretty sure he can't see anyone anyway. No. No, it's been really tactical. Can't kneel. Oh, so we're already kneeling. Cool. Going for. Cool, oh, yeah, this one. Oh, headshot. Nailed him. But we did warm him up quite nicely for her. So I'll, I'll take some of the credit for that. Sabotage? Yeah. So it's a good plan for that platform. Get up there, sabotage all the zip lines, build a barricade or two. No one's gonna be able to get to them. I say that's fine with me. I don't need to get all the lights, just a majority of them. So we'll just leave them be up top there. Oh, and it looks like we're on round five as well now. We are on the final round. I don't even know if I want to stand up. Let's get all our auras on. Shredding frenzy. I've not seen this yet. Attack three times with the active weapon. Oh, blimey, it's got all sorts. We're not going to worry, I don't think. We're just going to overwatch. Pretty sure we can't see anyone. I want to stay on the light. So, yeah. Let's get an overwatch in there. Yeah. Already done the safeguard. I'm just going to do the same here. I know this might not be terribly exciting for y'all, but I know if I spread my guys out thin here, I'd get picked off. So I'm really trying to just play the smart game here. Chill up there with the light. Out here's Larry. Still can't see anyone. Six. Hmm. I thought 
so it was only five rounds. Interesting. Maybe it's five rounds left after the first round. Yeah! Good overwatch that girl. Cool, now I can casually rock up to this line. Oh, there's some more. Let's have a little look in the big bad man. Let's have his little pistol. Oh, I wonder if I can see any of them from down here. I can see them, but I can't shoot them. Okay, so that's one of mine, that's one of mine, that's one of mine. I think we're doing pretty good here. I must say. Um, I think we'll just stand here and get in some overwatch, probably. Can I get that up there? No, I can't. Pretty pants overwatch, isn't it? This is just a flame gun. So let's get up here. It's out right way a bit. It's a shame that platform up there is a bit too far away. I can chuck the nade up there. Not think there's much point. But, um, that female gang is all dead now. I think this orange gang only has the two guys up on this one platform. So this is this is ours. This is a win. Making a cheeky play. Coming to steal my light. Wow, I hardly hit this at all. Resisted. Yeah, is that because of our aura we put down? Well, that was really worth it, wasn't it? Because I'm just going to turn around and switch this light back on, you douchebag. There you go. Where have you gone? Going to get it. Can we entrench? We can entrench. Let's try and aim shot. Alright, so we're doing piercing damage. 30, 30, 30, 30, none, none. Hmm. Let's just go for normal shot, I think. Let's do the aim shot this time. Might do a smidge more damage. I'm really sorry. I'm just going to do the same. I want to make sure I definitely win this. And that's game. There we go. Thanks for playing, everyone. Get the organ leggers out there and harvest the fresh ones before they spoil. 
Cool beans. That definitely was a decisive victory. We controlled that game. That was brilliant. I kind of wasn't expecting it to go that well, to be honest. Of all I can't... the gangers I've seen, Flint was the best prospect for success. He and the Black Ash originated from the Cold Forges. The very same domes that Bloodfor and Tessera should be searching by now. I needed Flint to do one more little job before I set him loose. A fair 50-50 split for him. Although the Orlock was reluctant at first, I was relieved when he grudgingly accepted. Why send another gang below, you ask? Built in redundancy, I reply. One of the three would succeed, and I would reap the rewards. He's playing them all, isn't he? Yeah, before, before I was interrupted by the cutscene, I was quite expecting that battle to go a little bit differently with, with being three of us. I thought I would get ganged up on a bit. But um, I think I played it quite smart and tactical. Possibly a bit boring for you to watch, I'm afraid. But you got to do what you got to do to win. Um, so, let's know what you thought about that, guys. Leave us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Some comments and feedback would be great. Stay tuned for the next one. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.